Welcome to Crawl Space Ninja, I'm Michael Church. If you're considering waterproofing your crawl space or basement, you may not realize the importance of a sump pump basin. Today to share that information with us, I have Mike Dyer with Wayne Sump Pumps. Mike? This is a sump pump basin. And the importance of a sump pump basin is it allows you to collect the water that's been flowing through your French drain or through the, the drains around your footer into a uh, container that allows the sump pump to pump it out. That's correct. Now I have seen many people install these basins where they're not perforated. Do you recommend they be perforated or non-perforated? Well, it doesn't, in, in my opinion, it doesn't matter whether they're perforated or not. They could have a inlet that's drilled in from a larger size pipe, but the perforations, if you use that, you definitely need to have some sort of a material around the felt around the side to help filter any debris from getting in there. The downside to the four inch, more traditional uh, drain pipes that I see in my area is that there's typically not a good filter media. That's correct. So whenever we install these sump pump basins in crawl spaces and basements, we use the hydroway system and we plug it right directly into the basin. And then we have the felt wrapped all the way around with gravel around that. But that gravel can allow the sediment and all of that to get into the basin. So that felt is really good at, at keeping that sediment out. Now, how is that an advantage? Hey, Michael Church here. Real quick, I wanna share two things with you that we've got going on here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Number one, I encourage you to check out the Ninja Cabin. We are making this cabin available for people that are interested in staying in the Gatlinburg and Sevierville areas around Dollywood and things like that. It's a beautiful cabin in Wares Valley, Tennessee. I'm gonna put a link to that down below. And also we're gonna start doing a live feed. So that way you can talk directly to me at the end of every month, we're gonna be featuring a live feed. So make sure you check out the link below for the live feed coming up at the end of every month. For the Wayne sump pump. So gravel or mud or any, any debris other than groundwater is uh, is always an issue with a sump pump if it gets into the pump. All right, so if we can keep this basin as clean as possible, pump out as clean as water as possible, I assume that adds to the longevity of the sump pump. Is it, that correct? It will. It, it will eliminate any potential problems with the pump and not starting and getting clogged by any debris that could get into the pump. Now, as good as the basins are at keeping that debris or silt out, you still recommend we maintenance those sump pumps. Is that correct? That is correct. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so one of the main things that we ask customers to do is three, four times a year, just open your sump pump lid, remove any debris from the bottom, make sure the pump is functional, and make sure that it, it's operating and there's no debris build up along the intake of the pump as well. So if I hear you correctly, this basin can save a homeowner a lot of time and energy and make sure that pump is working properly when they need it the most. That's correct. That's great. Well, thank you, Mike, for sharing all that information with us. I'm Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day, and we'll see you later.